What's up, YouTube? Right, I just want to touch on one of my horses to follow this season. He's going making his chase debut today. However, I am worried maybe first time back connections. He mightn't have him as fit as you'd probably like. This isn't a bad race, but he is a very interesting horse. He landed a double max bet for me in Fontwell last year at 11 to 4, and he absolutely ran away with it. He won by about 30 lengths. He had chaser written all over him. A lot of size, a lot of scope plenty of plenty about this horse he's called nickelback now he runs in warwick today in the handicap chase i think it's what time is it it's a 305 now i have got two bets for the patreon service that i'm going to play i'm going to just maybe have a small bet on nickelback today but he is a horse if i talk connections had him ready he has all the attributes to make it as a really nice chaser beautiful big horse travels really well that will be suited to warwick you gotta get in a good rhythm over fences in warwick and this horse for me we don't know how he'll jump fences but i believe he will jump them very well he has a lot of scope he has a lot of enthusiasm and he has a lot of uh, natural ability so nickelback is one of my horses to follow for this national hunt season like i said will connections have him ready today i'm not i i, I can't answer that question but i do believe he has a lot of upside as a chaser also two other interesting horses that are running today finbar fury 257 at salisbury i have him marked down as a handicapper to follow so this is his third run for a mark so look whether they let him off today or not they're probably just going to not knock him about there is a short price favorite in the race and this lad has drifted to 11 to 2 so probably expect you know a tender ride today but a horse definitely to pick up in handicaps if they did let him off today he would be a live runner another horse i'm going to let go it has some solid form we tipped it up the last day it was beaten by an unexposed jamie osborne horse called island native in linkfield but he is seven to four and i don't like that price today so i'm thinking maybe i'll just let him off let him go and win if he wants uh, i do have two nice bets for the patreon service one is seven to two i believe he'll win if he handles the track the other is 12 to one return him from a break but i like the profile i like the horse and i like the trip for the horse today as well won't have any issues with the track so definitely interesting lads if you want to get involved in the cold bear sports patreon service i've dropped the price to 12.99 a month for all the best bets link will be below and just to touch on my anti-post bet of the season for the national hunt vanillier in the the grand national i really like this horse lads i'm telling you now i cannot see him not running a monstrous race barring any mistakes and the grand national has been so modified in the last 10 to 15 years it's not like it used to be this horse has already proven he can navigate the track and get round and for me if the button was pressed a little bit earlier he might have ran down a very likable winner on the day so look uh, vanillier 25 to 1 i'm backing him like i did the whacker it's going to be a monster stroke if i pull it off and if i do pull it off if he wins i will never charge for a tip again all my best bets will be for free on all channels so get involved in vanillier don't miss so even if he places lads we stand to make a really good profit at the price 25 to 1 so get as much as that as you can if you like more videos like this smash the like and uh, like i said if you want to get involved in any of the race horse ownership hit me up it's a few horses in england with paddy neville also a couple of horses in ireland with paul flynn keep in touch mad morrigan here make sure and smash the like